BBC Radio 2 legend Ken Bruce recently announced his departure from the network after 31 years, but it appears bosses were no longer impressed as he prepared to move to another station. Ken, 71, had been presenting his weekday show for over three decades, entertaining millions of listeners but now claims he is being forced out by the corporation early after announcing his departure earlier this year. It was recently announced that Vernon Kay would be taking over the show, despite initially being apprehensive about stepping into Ken's famous shoes. Now, sources at the BBC are believed to have broken their silence over Ken's departure and state that his early exit is due to his next job at Greatest Hits Radio. The BBC believe that every second he is on air is just free advertising for his new show on Greatest Hits Radio, a source said. They went on to tell The Sun, they became frustrated by the rival station launching a marketing campaign for his show, it leaves a sour taste. Ken recently shed light on his exit taking to Twitter and telling his fans, I will be presenting my last show on Radio 2 next Friday. I had intended fulfilling my contract until the end of March but the BBC has decided it wants me to leave earlier. Let's enjoy the week ahead. However, a BBC spokesperson later stated to the Mirror, Ken decided to leave Radio 2 and it's always been known as leaving in March. Returning to Wogan House for a week after a month of broadcasting the piano room sessions at May de Vale provided a natural break. We wish Ken all the best for the future. His resignation was initially announced on his show on January 17, with the BBC later tweeting, We have some news. After 31 years of presenting the 9.30am midday weekday show, Ken Bruce has decided to leave. We're going to miss you lots Ken and want to congratulate you on a fantastic career at the BBC. Ken later commented, explaining that it was his decision to hang up his pass for Wogan House and BBC Radio 2, saying it was time for a change. He said, after 45 years of broadcasting on BBC Radio it's time for a change. I would stress that this is entirely my decision. I will always be very proud of my association with the BBC and Radio 2 upon starting his new job at Greatest Hits Radio, owned by Bauer Media, Ken will take his pop master game over to the new station. BBC Radio 2 was approached for comment. Melting